What's up, YouTube? You guys might remember this tank as my uh, 75 Malawi uh, Memorial Day. I was going to change some filters out and do some maintenance on some of the tanks. And kind of looked at this tank and said, you know what? I'm tired of those Malawi cichlids. Uh, they were great, I guess. Uh, just not my cup of tea. I ended up uh, taking all the rocks out. Uh, cleaning the entire tank, the filters, the media, everything, and then adding, of course, established media from another filter. Uh, just want to give everything a pretty clean rundown. I picked up a new uh, wet pet. He actually coming out now. Um, Memorial Day, so today's Wednesday. So I've had him two days now. It's kind of the first day full lights. He had partial lights the day before. Uh, trying to get him adjusted. He's still hanging out in the corners and up behind the filters. But this is a uh, Peruvian mono peacock bass. Uh, I actually traded in all my Africans. I had about 20 of them. A little over 20 or so. Uh, three Manganos, seven or eight Labs, nine or ten Rusty, somewhere in that range. Um, three of the females were holding, but as I was taking the rocks out and you know, uh, trying to catch all these fish, put them in separate buckets so they wouldn't kill each other because they were obviously killing themselves in a 75 gallon tank. A five gallon bucket wasn't going to work. So they got to store with two different buckets and bags and stuff to get them all in there. But uh, traded them in and ended up getting this guy. Um, didn't pay nothing for them. They wanted, what, 40 bucks for one of these guys and took all the Africans in, traded them in for store credit, and just basically said, hey, just bag that fish up, don't even put it on credit, I'll just walk out the store with him. And, uh, new home. This isn't going to be his permanent, uh, fish tank for all you people that are going to be worried, you know, that fish is going to so outgrow it, I know he's going to outgrow it. Uh, definitely got a plan for the future. Most of these tanks came from smaller fish that outgrew the old tanks I got. I know this guy's going to need a massive one. I want a massive tank. I've kind of found my liking in uh, the fish world. I still haven't tried uh, saltwater, but I like the monsters. I like the viejas, the peacock bass. Um, just big fish, you know. Um, and I'm gonna start getting rid of some tanks. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of my multis. I'm getting rid of the peacocks. Um, I've got 18 tanks at the moment. Or 19. I think I'm going to cut it down to about 13, maybe even 12, depending on uh, what stock I get rid of. Uh, I do have a few breeding projects that I want to hold on to the Green Terrors, the Fest Day, the Red Terrors, uh, the Electric Blues, definitely get rid of them. The 125s, the Girlfriends, and uh, we're going to keep the uh, 55 there with the Grow Outs, but. This guy's going to be my new pet. I still haven't come up with a name yet. Uh, it'll come to me. But this tank here, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that old video uh, when I first started posting on the YouTube. This didn't have, uh, you know, it was laced with rock all the way across, a bunch of river rock and slate. Uh, red and black, same sand, same filters. There was no background on it at all. Uh, I didn't move this tank. I just basically drained it to about an inch. Uh, you know, had the new fish in there already, floated it. Um, but when I did strip the um, or catch the Africans that had three holding females and I left the babies in there I stripped them one had eggs I let her keep the eggs in her mouth and took them in and informed them at the pet shop uh, but I left them in here and they're all gone uh, I'm trying to get this guy on pellets uh, start training him on that food because cultivating live food for a fish this size I mean you're gonna need your own you're gonna need a large area to start cultivating stuff like that. I mean, I can go get shrimp and do all that other deal, but if I just buy pellet food in bulk, is and he'll live, you know, NLS pellets and you know, occasionally, you know, shrimp and whatever their treats are. Uh, I'll research that a little better, but I have read a little bit on them. Very interesting fish. Always had an eye out for them, and now I got one. Um, I'll be doing a lot of videos. I'll be updating progress on this guy. If you guys think of something cool to name him. Uh, you know, put it down in the comments down there or send me a message or whatever. Look for interesting stuff. I'm not really picky on it. Just something that fits. You know, uh, like, subscribe, comment.
Later.